Hello again, this is going to be Battle Royal uh, FFT Arena match number 32, in which we'll be pitting our True Lights team We Do Stuff against uh, remaining winner Mudbane, or Caster Chicks from Mudbane. Okay, let's get in the True Lights team. We have Sneaky the Ninja, Zeppelin the Thief, Confuzzle the Chemist, and Last Stand the Paladin. Okay, and for this ninja, his skill set uh, consists of Meitan, Kagasogi, and Masamun. He's got a uh, hidden knife and healing staff for speed, hidden knife to guarantee hits. He's uh, basically going for Kagasogi. And uh, Meitan for range and to heal himself since he's a cursed unit. He gets, he's undead. And he absorbs uh, dark. He's got projectile guard to protect him against uh, anyone who has seal evil. And Moss Moon to get his health back when he gets back up. He's got 12 speed, so he's got decent speed there. Okay, and next for the thief, his skill set is uh, quickening, steel accessory, level jump 5, and vertical jump 6. So he's another cursed ring unit. He's going to be doing a lot of jumping. He's got a pretty good PA thanks to the Qatar and the power sleep. Overwhelm to boost the jump damage that he'll be doing. And move HP up to keep him running. Keep him alive. Okay, and for the chemist, he's got items and then Kiyomori and Masamun. He's got a uh, pretty good evasion thanks to Escution 2 shield and the wizard mantle. He's got a uh, one point of speed thanks to secret clothes, green beret, get, boost uh, his, uh, movement. Okay, and for the paladin, her skill set is nurse, transfusion, re raise, raise, wall, and asuna. Uh, transfusion can heal the undead units. Um, Ragnarok, I believe, is uh, protect with shell, and Church has protect. So she's basically got protect and shell on, thanks to the Ragnarok and the Church. Rub of Wards to protect against silence will give her a lot of M8, and Crystal Helmet for status protection. Okay, and for caster chicks, we got badass chick the Geomancer, hot chick the Squire, mean chick the Scholar. And Fat Friend the Squire. He's this team has been going quite a while, so we'll get right into the matchup. And for the first map, we'll be going to map number uh, 45. Which is the ruins of Zeltania Castle's church. Good luck to the both of you. We'll see if uh, True Light can take Mud Vane out. Or if Mud Vane keeps uh, his streak going. There's a quickening. So that thief will be getting up even faster after going down. And a moss move. Okay, Ge Geomancer is going for some uh, summoning magic. There's a haste. Thief is going to move forward. Goes for a whack. Here comes Shiva. Hits two units. Ninja heals himself up. Kamas just moves forward. There's a wall. Keep the chemist alive. Geomancer goes down. Ninja does some chip damage. And Geomancer is back up. Let's see if a heal can get off in time. Nope, that's a haste. Uh, chemist hasn't done much action yet. We're going for a 
hard jump. There's a Kagasogi. Don't act and don't move. There's a counter flood. Hits all three units. No status proc though. And the Geomancer goes down again. Okay, thief moves forward. Stop misses. And Geomancer goes back down for another nap. So does the Scholar. There's Poison and Darkness. Don't act and don't move again. Geomancer's going back down. Squire is down again, but she does have free raise. That uh, Geomancer is getting double teamed. Paladin's gonna uh, just not do much. Okay, down to one unit. Looks like uh, True Light's going to be taking the first round. And we'll see you in the second round. Okay guys, welcome to round number two. True Light's We Do Stuff was able to do stuff against uh, Mudvayne's team in the first round. And, and he was able to take the round. We'll, for the second map, we'll be going to map number 25. which is Jardo Fort City. We'll see if True Light's able to knock off Mudvayne here, if Mudvayne can keep go going on. Okay, there's haste and regen for both the undead units. And a quickening. is going to go for some summoning. There's a heaven cloud. Uh, slow got procced. And she hit the other geomancer, so that's kind of good and bad with that. Bad science will help with that, though. Stop misses. Geo goes down. There's donut, two donuts. Uh, two units are down on uh, Mudvayne's side. More Donax. Looks like uh, True Light has the advantage in the second round. Once again. But that'll help a little bit. Get four units back up, one at full health. And Mudvayne's back in fighting mode for the most part. Geo matches back down again. Just don't move that time, that's not as bad. There's a wish. Here comes uh, Protect, all, gets all three units. That doesn't Protect, it gets Poison though. Scholar is down. There's a Chip Shot. That Squire's almost down. Now she is down, left, one unit left on Mudvayne's side, so Looks like True Light's in pretty well control here. That uh, stop hits two units, that'll help a little bit. I don't know if it'll be enough though. Especially with the chemist there to undo a stop. She 
gets her MP back, but... Kakasobi, uh, and Poison wins it for True Light. So, GG Mudvayne, you lasted quite a while, but unfortunately this is where the train stops. Good job, True Light. We'll see you guys in the next matchup. GG.